Hi there, Leos. So look at the spread that I have for you right here. I mean, all I wish I could say is you've got new love, new house, new work opportunities, the end. Because it seems like it's just screaming out new things all over, okay? So I'm going to elaborate a little bit more, but it seems like what, what more do you need aside from this? So once again, all of these three aces, the only thing that's missing here is the ace of swords. So communication might be the one area that you need to work on in terms of love and romance, in terms of new projects, in terms of money, finances. All of those things seem to be going swimmingly well, or at least, you know, if you've had uh, worries about these areas in your life in the past, they are going to definitely smooth themselves out. The, the, the wrinkles will be, will come out in the wash. I guess and then everything will kind of you know to straighten themselves out by themselves so the only thing I feel is the communication okay and the communication deals with the sword energy so the five of swords is like the aftermath of a conflict it's a situation that didn't need to happen that didn't lead to anything um, conducive for growth or it didn't lead to a, a victory that anybody hoped for and then on top of that i just feel like you know too many words have been said too many things have been um kind of uh repressed and then it comes flying out or it comes spewing out at a very inopportune time so a lot of you know feelings might have been hurt a lot of people might have been uh dragged down in the process but this is a situation where you're learning from it and you're moving forward, okay? Because I feel here um, shame, sadness, and regrets from your end or from other people's end. But at the same time, with the Five of Swords, it's a situation that could have been easily averted by walking away. And I feel like this is something playing out in a way where now at least you know where you stand with other people. And now at least you know that, you know, you have an idea of the aftermath. You have an idea of how to move forward and how to forge ahead. I feel for many of you, um, this is a work situation. Something that you thought you could go back to or you thought you could rely on. And because of this, you know, blowout, now you have to change your strategy. Before, if you were waiting on a decision, waiting for them to tell you, yes, we're going to take you back, come work with us, or come work with this organization, or I'm going to, you know, um, drop your name um, with one of my colleagues, and then they'll call you back. And now you have a clear sense of direction that, okay, no, they're not calling me back, or I need to be a little bit more assertive, or I need to be a little bit more aggressive. And in the process of changing your strategy, you are going to be able to land something quite spectacular and a lot more in alignment with what you need right now, which is, you know, this big boost in financial security. Okay. Um, with the seven of uh, cups, this is a card about fantasy. This is a card about options opening up. This is also a card about electronic communication, applying for jobs online, applying for uh, dropping your resume online, uh, editing your resume, and then, you know, sending it through the internet. So this is a heavy energy about detachment and web-based types of job application, okay? So I feel as if somebody's telling you, yes, I know you, but you still have to go through the proper channel and drop your application off or apply for something. And then once you start applying for it, a huge chunk of money is gonna go through and or like a new job is gonna come through. This also indicates to me uh, grant writing, okay? Um, soliciting a, a very wealthy um, entrepreneur or soliciting a foundation, a place that you know has a massive amount of money and you're trying to appeal to them to you know fund you or write a grant or even um soliciting them for funds and then as a result of it the the funding comes through at the last minute so you have some really amazing things that you need to kind of um uh focus on and it is all finance career focus for right now and you know don't let the petty arguments and uh, the competition or even, you know, the fact that it didn't work out the last time 
So I'm not going to try it again. Don't let the, the, the ego games get in the way because I feel like there's, there's a replenishing of financial resources. So if it didn't happen the last time, it might be because they're short on funding. And so now when the funding is getting replenished, they're going to pick you. So you want to make sure, you know, reapply and give it another chance, give it another go. Don't give up and don't feel, um, I, I want to say like, don't let that past disappointment hinder your ability to, you know, catch on to the success that's coming in. I also feel for some of you, if it's a job application, you might have left some things out. You might have like omitted something. You might have forgotten to do something such as a cover letter, such as leaving your contact information, such as, you know, um, including your references. So whatever it is that you forgot this time, you need to get your head in the game and do it right. And whatever it is the last time that you forgot, it might be the reason why they rejected you. It might be the reason why you didn't win. And so we have a do over here. And you know, in life, you might know this, uh, we don't get many do overs. So if you ever get a do over, it's because you're exactly where you're meant to be. Okay. So I feel like you really need to kind of buckle down and, and take this seriously because, you know, second chances rarely come back around. Um, if it's like, um, I, I also feel like, you know, writing a grant, soliciting funds, uh, writing a proposal and getting funding for it, or even applying for a job. If you forgot something in the past, this is a chance for you to redo it. So make sure you look through everything very, very methodically and very carefully. If you apply for a loan even for to fix your house, um, make sure you spend the time to, you know, give them concrete answers or concrete descriptions as to what you're planning to do with the funding. Okay. So I'm going to leave it at that. The other thing that I really want to talk about, and it seems very exciting is we've got this love situation. So first of all, we have here the Ace of Cups and the King of Pentacles. Now the King of Pentacles, well, the King of Pentacles, usually I, I think of him as, um, or, you know, this person as somebody who is incredibly fertile. Okay. And, um, when they appear in tandem like this in a reading, it usually screams out pregnancy. It usually screams out pregnancy and it seems like, you know, it's not like the king of wands where it might be unplanned pregnancy. This is like methodical, well thought out pregnancy plans to start a family plans to uh, build something great. And I feel like if you are in a relationship with this person, so this is an earth sign, a Taurus, a Virgo or a Capricorn. It seems to me as if, there is this massive outpouring of love coming in from this person. Massive. Like they're, they're getting very mushy and gushy and you know, they're, they're giving you like uh, sweet talks and pillow talks and it's, it's out of character for them to do that. But then I feel for many of you, if you're in a relationship with this person, something work, travel, school, whatever the circumstances, might take you away from this person. And because you're away, you know, absence makes the heart grow fonder. That's when they, through missing you, um, they're responding and they're, they're uh, giving you this ma massive outpouring of love because they really miss your presence. The thing about earth signs is they're creature of habits. So if they've lived, you know, five years by themselves, right, they're used to it. And then they meet you. And if they live like four months with you, they get used to it. And so if all of a sudden you pick up and leave, it's going to leave that void, that vacuum in their lives, and it's going to destabilize them. So I feel like, you know, with earth signs in general, we need to all learn to be very gentle when we're dealing with them. Because um, they might not show 
you know, the love and the affection, or they might not be very uh, mushy with their words or the way they express themselves, but they notice everything and your presence will, your, your absence actually will be felt on a very deep, profound level by an earth sign. And so I feel like you have this massive outpouring of love here from a relationship partner, possibly from an admirer or from somebody that is coming into the picture. Um, they're really smitten by you. They're very, very, um, I want to say like just, they're really doting you. They're really feeling you. Um, I feel like if you're in a relationship with them, there might be talks here about pregnancy, starting a family, possibly even thinking about Let's buy a house. Let's pick a city so that we can move there and buy a house. And then once we buy a house, we settle down, have a, a few children, bring our, um, you know, mix our, our family together, like have parents and things like that come into the picture. So I feel like there are a lot of discussions here about taking the relationship to the next level, about family planning and um, about overall where do we want to live? Where can where would be a good place to raise a family? Where do we want to work? What city should we move to so that we can work? But I feel there is a, a sense of distance between you and another person. And I also feel like um, the with the other person, it's you're landing a new job and it could potentially take you away from a person. But you have to do it because, you know, it's livelihood, it's survival. And then because you're doing that, there might be also that distance and then just a lot of internet base or, or um, like text messages, emails, uh, communication through other channels. Okay, so I, I feel like there's a distance here. Um, for those of you who are single, we have here a very good relationship partner that's giving you or that's willing to settle down and it's somebody that's willing to give you a lot but i feel some of you want to play the feel and there's nothing wrong with that as long as you're honest right some of you are just like not yet ready to face this person because they're too serious they you still want to live your life you still want to be single you want to be the bachelor or the bachelorette you still want to date around you still want to embrace life and not be so bogged down in a heavy relationship and then for some of you it's like you're dealing with this person and they're coming on very strong and very sincere and you're running away from your emotions you you might like them but you're very afraid of commitment they might want love but you might just want like a physical relationship they want commitment. You just want fun. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. We want what we want, you know. And sometimes the right person can come in, but it might not be the right time. So I feel like it's a mismatch. And so don't beat yourself up over, you know, the fact that, like, what's wrong with me? Why can't I love this person? It's, it might not be the right person or it might not be the right time. So you, until you meet the right person and you feel that sense of resonance with them, then that's the right person for you. So don't beat yourself up over the fact that I have this amazing person, but why can't I be in love with him or her? Why can't I settle down with him or her? What's wrong with me? I see a lot of like um, self-shaming. I see a lot of uh, guilt tripping, like you're doing all of this to yourself. So, you know, don't get into that habit, okay? It's a very negative space. It is what it is. If you're not feeling it, you're not feeling it. And that's just the way that love and energies and things work. And so you do have somebody that's available and that's giving you this major offer. But if you're not ready, if life is calling, if love is calling as well, I feel like you're being pulled in multiple directions, like a, a rubber band that's kind of stretched out too thin. Um, life is calling, work is calling, and then love is calling, passion is calling. So it's like, can there be such a thing as too many options? I guess in this case, 
it's rare, but it seems like there are so many options and you're kind of spinning your wheels trying to figure out where to go. And so where do we go? If you are dating another fire sign, okay? If you're dating another fire sign, you're really sexually attracted to this person. The Ace of Wands is like new desire, new passion. You're really feeling this person, but the person, when it's in the reverse, they're not really ready, okay? Um, I don't see third parties here. I just feel like you're, you're generally very clear about what you want. I just feel that it's just somebody's giving you something that you're not ready for. So where do we go, Leos? What's the good option? Okay, so it's starting to make sense a little bit. I feel like you're dealing with somebody. You're either married to them, and then I feel like you you guys are struggling to try to find work in the same geographical location. So then it's like, it's never the perfect time where things are balanced out. Both partners have work and it's in the same area. I feel like you're being pulled in different directions. Uh, you have a job offer here. Your partner has a job offer there. And then coordinating the energies is really difficult. And then I'm also sensing some of you, you have a partner that is in another relationship. And... They might have children. This is the child support card. Children. They might have children. And they're not really leaving the relationship. And if that is the case, you're seeing yourself, your way out. And I feel as if, you know, it's a difficult decision. You're hurt as a result. But you don't want to stay in the dishonor anymore. And you're going to move away to something new. So if you have a partner and they're in another relationship, I see some endings happening for you guys. And I feel like you could potentially, you know, run into another person. You could potentially run into new love. But I, I feel like it's a situation that needed to change. Okay. So where do we go? This is a card about balancing out the financial circumstances, juggling two jobs and making ends meet. And I feel like it has been very challenging for many of you. The separation from your partner or even struggling financially. So because you're struggling financially, you're going to go with this. You're going to go with this. You're going to go with the option that is the most stable and viable and brings you a lot more pride because you pride yourself on your ability to really take care of yourself. And if this, I, I feel like I, I need to repeat that message. You pride yourself on your ability to take care of yourself. Don't settle for situations that has financial gains when it requires that you put yourself in situations where somebody else is taking care of you or you're selling some things out for the financial security, okay? Like you're selling that sense of integrity about yourself for financial stability. So be very, very careful, okay? Um, go where the money takes you, the job, the work. Do it in an honorable way and do it in, in you, you know, your own style, okay? Make sure that it's hard-earned money and make sure that the the way that you earn the money is honorable and is something that you can sleep with you know yourself by the end of the night so that you can you know uh, accept within yourself so I feel like potential for going astray here when it comes to finances when it comes to get rich quick scheme or relying or like you know getting involved with a, a partner that you might not love for the financial security and that's not something that I would say a lot of Leo people do, but for whatever reason, it is coming in. So you want to really be careful with this energy. Um, May overall across the board is a very breakthrough month for many, many signs. And uh, I feel like it's a very pivotal month. Um, 
across the board for all the signs. It's a month where major decisions came in and it's a month filled with across the board as well. A lot of major arcana cards coming out. For you guys, we don't have major arcana cards coming out, but we do have a lot of new beginnings, which denotes that you need to nurture it. If it's a new house, it's great. So you need to nurture it. If it's a new love, if it's a new bundle of joy, you have to nurture it. If it's a new job, you have to nurture it. So the ball's in your court. You might not have those big sweeping changes descending upon you in terms of major arcana cards, but you do have all of these beautiful things and blessings. And it's really forcing you, you know, to really look at things and do things in a very honorable way. Do things that bring you financial stability, brings you happiness, and brings you that sense of excitement as well. Okay? Um, I'm seeing a lot of people thinking about relocating for new work. Possibly multiple options coming in for love and work at the same time. And I'm also sensing if you've been, you know, in fierce competition with other people, competition's over. The fight is done and over with. You have proven yourself to be kind of like the master of your craft. And I feel like that might be why you're landing this really lucrative job assignment. That might also be why you are landing this, um, you're excelling or thriving in this love relationship and you're being given a lot of blessings on the um, emotional front. And also if you're putting in a bid, for example, you're getting a house, you're getting like a new apartment, you're getting a new place of living. So you have some really beautiful things coming in. Um, you are, blessings do come in but you are ultimately responsible for how you treat it, how you decide to run with it or how you decide to nurture it, okay? Leos, I'm so happy to see this for you guys. I know that the past few months, especially from the January, February timeframe, April was a little bit harsh. Um, it, April's energy was, was a little bit difficult. So I'm so happy to see this for you guys and um things are going to be looking up okay please take care of yourself and um you know go with the new okay we have a lot of new things here for a reason so don't retrench don't um be fearful and don't you know um reject something out of fear okay i wish you all the best please take care of yourself and i'll see you next month bye bye